What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Say something, goddammit! You're on television! You're live to the whole world! You're on television. You're live to the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow decoders around the world, wherever you may be, both male and female, of course. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. And today we're going to be breaking down and decoding some television. Just like it says in the movie, The Truman Show, the great movie, you're on television. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you're on television, decoded. And I'm gonna support the fact that you are a little actor or actress, playing out your part, being the, hopefully being the star in the movie. Uh, once you turn off the mainstream, turn off that side because that's their movie. And you start to become the star of your movie. But I'm going to show you that you're on television. And I'm going to be once again using The Truman Show, the great 1998 June 1st release of The Truman Show. Of course, June 1st, 61, Prometheum, Prometheus. Let's talk about Pluto. I already brought all this stuff out. I'm going to be showing the Pluto position for Jim Carrey, his birth chart. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is going to be, going to be eye-opening, mind-blowing. Put on a pair of headphones, get settled in. I promise you this one is going to once again put your jaw on the floor. And it will be, to me, it's undeniable. Mankind could never code this. Not in a million years. Not in a million years. And so what I decided to do was watch this movie again. And I went to the scene where Ed Harris, playing Kristoff on the moon, is talking to Truman. He's about to walk out, go through the square box. And he says, as I did in the beginning, with the song playing, Father Colby's preaching, that's the song. And he says, you're on, uh, say something, God damn it, you're on television. And then I paused the video. And this right here was the timestamp. Let me zoom in so I can show you. One hour, 34 minutes, and 31 seconds. When he get finished saying this sentence right here, one hour, 34, 31, okay? That's what I got right there. So I'm going to show you how this is so crazily scripted into our reality, it's going to blow your mind. This one is going to blow the roof off of everything right here. Are you ready? Because that, you know, that was the intro. I'm going to blow the roof off with that timestamp. I'm going to show you multiple layers that will show you there is no way the directors, producers, the editors could ever get this exactly the way it is to get it synced. I just don't see that happening. I just don't see it. Mankind's being used. That's my final answer. So that was the intro. Let's get into the topics for conversation during this presentation. Number one, we're going to get into Moon to Earth. Kristoff to Sea Haven Island, Moon to Earth. Number two, tell me a vision, because <laughs> that's how it works. Number three, Father Colby. That's the name of the song that was playing, maybe still playing in the, in the background. And then number four, the Truman Matrix. That's right. And this, this hand right here would be the G-O-D. Just like when you grab the remote, where the fractal down and you turn on whatever you want to turn on and there's multiple stations running at multiple times, which would indicate different fractals 
of this reality. This is the G.O.D. holding the remote saying, okay, what am I going to watch? Who am I going to watch now? Who am I going to control? This is how I feel it works, folks. As above, so below. So let's get into the first topic now. Moon to Earth. Moon to Earth. And we're going to break down this timestamp and I'm going to blow your mind. I hope you're ready. Put on a seatbelt, seriously. Because there's just no way. Anyway, so... What is the element on the periodic table that has the 134? This is one hour and 34 minutes and 31 seconds. Well, the 31 I can't get, but I can get the one hour and 34 in here. One hour and 34 minutes right there. It's barium. And what is barium? 56. And what was he in? <laughs> what did he realize he was in? He was on a television screen. Barium is lights, camera, action. As the great Nigel, you can't make this stuff up. Love that, guys. Big shout out to him and Ethan Rucker. Great decoders that have passed us by. This is for you guys. Wherever you're at, I hope you're listening. So there it is, man. You're on television. You're on television, folks. So what about the timestamp itself when we add it up? Here it is. Tried to blow it up. 1 plus 34 plus 31, 66. And I automatically knew what that meant because... Lo and behold, it's the latitude longitude for the birth city of Jesus Christ. How about that? It's Bethlehem, 31 degrees north, 35 degrees east. That's 66. And, you know, of course, as fate would have it, Jim Carrey has the initials JC, Jesus Christ. And what's so fascinating about Jim Carrey is his birth card. Him being born on January 17th, here's his birth card. It's the 30, it's just the 36 card in the deck, which matches Jesus Christ. Started in the movie called Yes Man, Yeshua Man. Broke all that down as well. All part of the script. I hope one day Jim Carrey gets to see this. <laughs> He's playing out the Jesus Christ. You're all, all of you, ladies, every single one of us are playing out the Jesus Christ superstar experience. Everybody. That's how scripted this Jim, Jim, James Eugene Carey is and Ed Harris. It's just, and Ed Harris, of course, being in Westworld. I mean, come on. Anyway, let's keep going. What if we do the, uh, the alchemy of the timestamp? One hour, 34 minutes, 31 seconds. Hydrogen, using the protons. Hydrogen, one. Selenium, 34. Gallium, 31. Going over to the trusty calculator. Ding, ding, ding. We get 149.702. Guess what the 149 is? It's the 35th prime number, which matches what word in numerology? Simulation. <laughs> You're on television. You're in a simulation. It's called a, tele it's called a movie. <laughs> that's what this means right here, folks. That's, that's just, there's no other way around it. Three in a row. Alchemy. The latitude, longitude, matching his birth, his birth uh, card. <laughs> and then the lights, camera, action. Just three. I got more. That's just three for starters, right? So simulation. And then how about even in Hebrew, right? Even in Hebrew, the word simulation, when you convert into Hebrew, that's a number 35. <laughs> it's just so funny. Uh, I'm probably going to laugh a little bit more. And here's the 35th card in the deck. It's the nine of diamonds. Nine, of course, is the bishop. If you go on the chessboard, it's going to be the bishop. Okay? It's going to be the bishop. And this nine of diamonds right here, when you convert it to the tarot, look, keep your eyes over here. When you convert it to the tarot, it's going to be the nine of pentacles. It's the 73rd card in the deck of the tarot. And this is really interesting because the 73rd card is matching to the words, you're on television. <laughs> Oh man, this, this decode folks. Wow. I just, I'm in awe. Like this is like the, the prime of my research career here. I mean, just so hilarious. So where do we go from here? 73, you're on television, you know, the movie star, you know, maybe this is you and your partner one day, right? Maybe by the lake, no one's around do a little of the ha-cha-cha, right? But 73 is the element tantalum. And if you study Greek mythology, it goes to King Tantalum and it goes to Tantalos in the Greek. It's where it came from. 
you go and break all this stuff down, of course, the 180 is the permutation of 108. And if you watch my generate, operate, destroy, decode, just my last one, uh, the 108 was tied to the life and death, 17 and 19 uh, going 36 digits. It's just uh, 19 digits into the string of the golden ratio. But anyway, this 106, what, what is, why is this so important? Because it's tied to our DNA, folks. 106. Why I know that is because I broke this down right here on my DNA decoded. And here are the two base pairs right here. Already interesting. This is the two base pairs for our DNA. Look what they equal. 106. And the bridge, the element palladium, 106. 46 protons, double helix. Okay, 106 is the two base pairs of our DNA. 106 is tied to the Greek original spelling of tantalum called tantalos, the 73rd element matching you're on television. So what's on television? Our DNA. Your spirit comes down into matter and now it gets to play the game. The squid game, the squid, uh, squid game did a great job. The old man at the end, he says, there's more fun in playing than watching that's super the supernatural if you made this game you'd come down here and play it you would this is westworld folks straight 101 so let's keep going with this timestamp. if you're not already blown away already let's get let me give you another example so i decided to take the, the total time uh, the time stamp one hour 34 minutes 31 seconds put it into the string of the golden ratio part of the source code and lo and behold look at where it's found 52,521st decimal digit, and there it was. 52,000, and then the 521 is just mirrored right there. One of the weights of tellurium. What is tellurium? Comes from the Latin word tellus, which means earth. And what's that 52 linked to? Well, you go to prison planet, 52. It doesn't get any more straightforward than that, folks. Mankind, we are being used as entertainment for the gods. This is nothing new. Ambrosia, the Greeks talked about this. This is very crystal clear here. Using just the timestamp when Christoph finished his statement of saying that Jim Carrey was on television, on Earth, tellurium. This, is, this was the humdinger of them all, I thought. Anyway, I mean, really? To get it into the golden ratio too, no way that the producers and directors could do that. No freaking way. You would need supernatural help to do it. And that's because God's a mathematician. So whatever, you know, you want to call the G-O-D. It's a mathematician. There it is, 57, 57. So many ways to look at this 57. It was all over Back to the Future. If you watch the original Back to the Future, you'll see the 57 all over it. And then one last example here um, with this tellurium is the, the um, common isotopes for tellurium. So here, here's the breakdown of them. Right off the Royal Society of Chemistry, they give the most common isotope 120, 122, 123, 120. There's more than this, but these are the most common. And here's the 125 that matched this right here, which matched the timestamp. And the big takeaway other than it being isotope 126, which is tied to iodine, I am that I am. It's also tied to promethium. The first isotope of promethium is 126, but it's 18%. And the 18th card in the tarot, the moon. Moon to earth. You're on television. These are subtleties, ladies and gentlemen, but this is the source code playing out. I didn't write this script. And I can assure you the Royal Society of Chemistry ain't putting these things into place because they know the moon is 18 and they got to get it right with the Truman Show. Sorry, ain't happening. Got to use logic and discernment here, ladies and gentlemen. And you got to have fun with this reality because you know you're living a scripted reality. Figure out your code, figure out what you're good at. Turn off the mainstream, go live out your life as a star. Be a star in the movie. That's the thing you got to do here. Enjoy life as best as you can. And then the last one here, cerium having that 134 matching the hour and minutes of when this timestamp happened. Cerium being 58, Puppet Master 58, which I've shown many of you decoders have been showing over and over. 57 and 58 are sequence numbers. They go right after one another. Truman Show 57, Puppet Master 58. It's pretty simple to see this when you have the tools. 
And it's just, to me, it's, it's just God's a stand-up comedian. That's why I have God's a comedian. Part one, two, three, four. I think I have five. Got to probably do part six. All the funny stuff. So let's get into the next topic now. If you, if you weren't blown away already, I was blown away making this, folks. Couldn't wait to get this material out to you. So I'm excited to show all this to you. So let's get into the second topic now. Tell me a vision. That's what television is. Tell me a vision. Okay, so what is that all about? Well, it's all about the television, right? Television is the number 40. And, you know, it's just so fascinating because I broke down Westworld and that's what Westworld is. 40. And they're talking about the implant in your brain. Absolutely, I think 1,000%, your thalamus, your brain is the implant. The little voice in your head, that owns you. Not the other way around. You don't control that. Sorry. Where do your thoughts come from? You ever think about that? Not coming from you. 40, Westworld. 40 is 22. Titanium is 22. Talked about that in my the generate, operate, and destroy decoded. Natural is 22. Organic is 22. So easy to see. Sodium representing our brain. Ye said, Jesus said, ye are salt of the earth. It's just so easy to see. But anyway, getting back to this television in the number 40, where does it sit in the string of the golden ratio? Well, I decided, let's go 40 digits in. Let's see what the 40th digit is. Since television is so big, it's a 40. And lo and behold, it's the number zero. How about that? What is zero? It's part of the binary system. Got a decode coming out on that. Well, as when you say zero, it's 21 just like the word enter. So you enter the television screen, you get plugged in and you become a human being down here. Once you end up incarnating and becoming a vessel through the womb and, and, and childbirth and all that stuff. And the total is 197. The, and you bring the prime, I don't really use a lot of the exteriors outside of Chaldean, but primes are a big one. Prime, it's what, 197 is the word enter. I mean, are you kidding me? So that you enter the television screen, which is Earth. Earth is a television set. It's a movie set. That's what it is. And then, you know, we enter Pandora's box. So 197 was the total for 40 digits right here, which is television. 197. 197 is the 45th prime number. 45 is still tied to the element rhodium, which is the rose that gives the bees honey. That's you and me. What are the bees? The supernatural. I mean, you know, if you if there are more than one, spiritual sense why? Well, the angels, if there are the 72 angels and demons running this reality from the supernatural position, well, they're running, they're running everything like puppets on strings. Remote control. And we are the Pandora's box. I mean, Pandora's box, the whole story of that. Opening up the shit show, right? Through these mythologies. And 197 is one of the atomic weights of gold. So what is the television screen? Not, and not just our television screen, but it is because if you turn on any of your favorite shows, do you, are you paying a subscription? Absolutely, you probably are. That means it's currency, it's money. These, uh, these platforms are making money off of your subscription. And that's all tied to gold because gold is a currency. So in this case, the fractal up, we're the movie. Our 3D reality is the movie, which is Pandora's box, which is tied to your brain, and it's right there. Doesn't get any more clear with mathematics and alchemy and numerology, with the television screen and the golden ratio. Pretty simple to see here, ladies and gentlemen. And if I say you're on television using the primes, you're going to get a permutation of that 197. It's 791. 791. So you go 40 digits in, it's 197. When you say you're on television, it's 791. Enter is 197. You enter the television screen and that's life. It's earth. Earth is a television set. It's a movie set. You're, you're in Hollywood. You don't have to go to Hollywood and get paid to be an actor or actress. You are an actor or actress. All the world's a stage and we are merely players. Thank you to the band Rush. William Shakespeare said the same thing. His name is 59 in numerology. The game of life is 59. You enter the zero. That's the portal to get in here. And then you enter as the one, which is the, the, the counterpart to the zero and one. That's the binary. You become one, which is a enneagram of Neo. And I'm gonna be showing that. 
And even the tarot card. Even the tarot card. The 20, this is the 21st tarot card. There's the zero right on it. There's the portal right on it. There's you and I, or spirit coming down. Androgynous being coming down. Say, I'm going to go play that game. I'm going to go be on television, Westworld. I'm going to go sign up for that. And then you, you, you go down in the portal. There's the zero. And the Roman, even the Roman numerals is 57, which is Truman Show. Right there on the card. You can't miss it. It's really simple to see. So we go through the portal, the zero, and we enter the dragon. I did a decode. Well, go watch my Enter the Dragon. It was all about entering the television screen, which is Earth. And that's what you're in. That's what I'm in. All of us. And we're all being used to play out our screenplays that were already written before we got here. So let me narrate this here because this is another big time decode just on one slide here, ladies and gentlemen. So the simulation is really what it's all about. The simulation is the movie. And you're the star of the movie. Some of you don't act like it, but you are. And if you go and use the 35 and you place it into the golden ratio, look at where it appears. Digit 57 and digit 58. 58 is Puppet Master. 57 is The Truman Show. Okay. 57 is The Truman Show. And you become the star. How you become the star is through the bridge of alchemy. Chlorine, the average atomic mass, 35.45. 35th card is the nine of diamonds. 35 is simulation. That's exactly how this whole thing works. All these components, they connect together because this is the source code, the code that writes the, our, our reality. And you become the star. Even he said it, you're the star, Truman. You're the star. He said it right in the movie. But if you look at the timestamp of when he said that, you'll get a, a, a download. You're the star. It's right there. The 17th card. Jim Carrey was born on the 17th. So January 17th. You're the star, Truman. Too many synchronicities with Jim Carrey to get this, like, you, the cast and get them. All these outcomes, no way. No way. So what about going 56? Since it's, you know, lights, camera, action. Since we know we're in a movie, it's 56. We enter the world, the world card here. Okay. Well, if we go 56 digits into the golden ratio, here it is, 56 total digits. Look at what's at the tail end, the last two, 21. So lights, camera, action, 56, 21's at the end. We enter the world, there it is. We enter the binary system. And the, the total outcome for the 56 digits is 271. And that's the 58th prime number, which is the puppet master. And I just go right back up to the slide before and, you know, the 35 occupies digit 57 and 58, which is the simu. We enter the simulation. That's what this says. And the simulation is the movie. And you're now living out a screenplay. And if you're an actor or actress, then you're a fra it's a fractal down to play out a screenplay. You got to memorize your lines, all that kind of stuff. To be an actor or actress. Some of you watching this may be an actor or actress. <clears throat> so again, just to summarize this here again, how big this was. Television is 40. When you go 40 digits into the golden ratio, the last digit is the, the, the 40th digit is the zero. The zero is the portal on the 21st card in the tarot called the world card. Zero is 21. Enter is 21. Okay, you're inside of a movie, folks. That's it. That's the final answer here with this. This is exactly what the Truman Show was, was talking all about. And now there's this guy, which is going to lead into my next topic called Father Colby right here. The song that was playing in the, during that time when Truman it was being talked to by Kristoff. Here's the guy right here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name as I'm butcher it, but I know maybe his last name is Kalar. He was a Polish composer. He, here he is right here. Okay. He was a Polish composer, very successful classical and film music composer. And he's the guy that wrote the song that was playing in the very beginning of this presentation during the last moments of that movie, The Truman Show, when Truman is talking to Kristoff and he's ready to walk out. In case I don't see you. That part right there, that, that's the song called Father Colby. And here he is. And ladies and gentlemen, how crazy scripted this guy is. Television being 40, 40 appears in the string of the golden ratio. You've already measured how many, what its digit is, it's zero, but it's found at the 106th and 107th decimal digit 
in the string of the golden ratio. That's our two base pairs of the DNA. You're on television. And this guy right here who wrote the song for the very ending when Christoph says you're on television, look at what his name equals. <laughs> Scripted. I should have did this scripted reality because that's exactly what we're looking at here. There's no other way to describe this. These mankind is being used. That's it. There's no other way to describe it. Something's running this reality from a supernatural position. That's my final answer. Unless something else gets exposed to explain what I'm showing you here. Well, I guess maybe in due time, but right now, all I can tell you is what I'm showing you here is undeniable right here. Undeniable. So let's get into Father Colby, the third topic, which is again, the Polish writer who wrote the song that was playing during this scene when Truman's about to walk out. And here's the name of the song, Father Colby's Preaching. I'm going to leave all these links um, in the description. Um, I don't even know if I have that here. I guess I don't. But anyway, I'll leave the Father Colby's preaching for all of you to click on it and read about it if you want to. But the total outcome is 80. And, and it's, that's very interesting because in the Tree of Life and Judaism, the numerology of Tree of Life, 80. So what is this whole scene talking about? Is he talking about him? I like, I'm, I'm ready to live, man. I'm ready to live. I'm ready to walk out and start my life. Detach. Maybe that's what it means. Going a little bit step further, it leads to this element right here called bromine. Now, bromine's average atomic mass is 79, which is gold. But these elements have several atomic masses. One of them for bromine is 80. And how big is that 35, ladies and gentlemen? How big was that? 30, excuse me, that 35. Well, it was tied to the word simulation, both in Hebrew and Chaldean. English, two languages, same outcome, 35. So what is the tree of life? It's a simulation. And the simulation is a movie. We're being watched. We're entertainment. Just like when you turn on the television and that's your entertainment and you watch it, that's a fractal down. We're a fractal down from the supernatural watching us from above. However that looks, that's what's going on here. It's a Mandelbrot set, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Mandelbrot set. So let's go 80 digits into the string of the golden ratio and measure this here, since this is the big outcome for the tree of life. Look at what we get for an outcome. Tesla's keys to the universe. Three, six, nine, tree of life. Keys to the universe, tree of life. Because you see, the game needs players. This reality needs actors and actresses to play out the screenplay, to create energy, to feed the supernatural. Because it's all about lead to gold down here with our energetic exchanges of expressions, emotions, et cetera, et cetera. It also, this, this number 80, not only is it bromine, but selenium also has this as its atomic mass as well. And selenium is the Greek word selene, which comes from the moon. And this is where Christoph was. And it's also linked to Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication. There's that 201. So those of you that, oh, the Vatican and the Pope Francis, and well, there's your connection to Mercury. It's tied to the tree of life. Make no mistake about it. It's connected to that. So they got to dig a little bit deeper than just saying it's the Jesuits and it's this. And it. uh, no, it's way beyond that. Dig a little deeper instead of just regurgitating what other people say. How about this uh, 80 digits into the string of the golden ratio tied from the, the name of the, the uh, song? Going 80 digits in, the last two digits is 24. And the 24th card in the Cards of Illumination, Jack of Clubs. And it just so happens that it's Mr. Kalar's birth card. How about that? Interesting, right? His birth card are the last two digits that make up the 80 digits of the string of the golden ratio. It's not just any two digits, it's digit 79 and digit 80. 79 is gold. This, this is like no-brainer stuff here. This, these people, as great as they are, 
like this is not to downplay any but they're being used to create the, this guy was a, a great composer but used to be the composer that was his job that was he's living out his screenplay and this jack of clubs is tied to the jack of, the knight of wands card 34 and we go right back to the moon because selenium has that atomic mass of 80. and where was christoph he was on the moon <laughs> so the moon has so much to do with earth whether we, we can debate about what is the moon's look it's it's connected to it so somehow somewhere there's some involvement with what that thing is in the sky the, these layers are, are pretty pretty easy to see right here and that 34 is tied to genesis 2 verses 7 which is talking about man being made from dirt because genesis 2 verses 7 equals 34 so anyway what about when we say selenium well selenium comes from the greek word selene here it is in the original greek 31 is tied to what keep your eyes right here the matrix so what is the tree of life what is the keys to the universe the matrix that's what you're that's what you're in they call it the matrix matrix is 17 life is 17. how big the 17 was you're in it the matrix is the movie you're plugged into the movie playing out your role this is all a no-brainer here uh when, when you have the eyes to see so let's look at his birthday let's let's measure his birthday in the string of the golden ratio you can do this with yours as well which i'd encourage all of you to do but 17 if you were born on the 17th here you go got a little head start 17 appears at the digit 36 and 37 which is going to give you a total outcome whoops and tied to the star card so the star card again being the star in the movie right you're the star of the movie but the interesting part is is when you add these up what's 36 and 37 73 and what's 73 you're on television <laughs> right this guy composes the song for this exact moment when Christoph says to Jim Carrey or Truman Burbank you're on television he's born on the 17th Jim Carrey's born on the 17th 17th card is the star card 17 appears at digit 36 and 37 and when you add it up at 73 and you're on television in numerology 73 which is where Christoph says it are you serious yeah I'm dead serious because this is all there's a scripted reality folks have fun with this reality man it's not even real it's a movie you're in a movie set here's the 73rd card in the deck the nine of pentacles you know the nine of pentacles and that matches that just you know we've already gone over that but i mean there it is so the 73 73rd card you're on television okay the nine the nine is the bishop the nine is the repeating number of course it's the revolving door number to keep the game going and of course you know again the nine of pentacles is the nine of diamonds which is card 35 and this is where it gets interesting ladies and gentlemen because now we're going to get into some neo stuff the nine of diamonds being card 35 matches the word simulation which is 35. the nine of diamonds when you say it is the number 60 60th element on the periodic table neodymium what was his name in the matrix neo guess what keanu charles reeves birth card is that's right keanu charles reeves september 2nd 1946 nine of diamonds he enters the simulation goes down into the simulation 141 is neodymium's most abundant atomic mass i'm gonna move that into the golden ratio where's that 141 appear starts at digit 457 and if you've been paying attention what's the 457 tied to perfect number it's tied to the 88. i, I covered this in my generate my last decode before this one god generate operate destroy decoded 457 88th prime number perfect number right there found from the 141 found from neodymium 
Neodymium's used to make magnets, making us magnetic. And his name was Neo in the movie. And he's got the nine of diamonds card for his birth card, which is 60 for the outcome when you say it. Yeah, John the floor moments. This is how it was for me. I just was like, you know, this is all connected. And I'm, I'm sure Kenan Charles Reese has no clue. I, I hope he gets to watch this and gets to see this. And this is more of the generate, operate, destroy, 88, tied to radium, Ra, tied to yttrium. <clears throat> the code that rules the world, 88. Ra being 21, enter being 21. 21st card in the tarot. So it's God, to me, it's God entering the 88. It's God entering the, mo the movie and gets to play out characters. That's Westworld, the G-O-D, okay? Tied to the sun. Ra is tied to the sun, some way, some shape or form. So let's get into, you know, this last part of this decode, ladies and gentlemen. Are we having fun yet? I covered this in my Hollywood decoded. This was a big one. This is a big find for me because I realized like, okay, Neo's going down and Jim Carrey and the Truman Show's going up. He's taking the stairway to heaven, which is, you know, fascinating because when you go to numerology and you look at stairway to heaven, it's 57 which is the same as the Truman Show, 57. <laughs> and he's going up his stairs, he's going upstairs, he wants to leave. And what's so fascinating is Keanu Charles Reeves, who they, who's the star of The Matrix, he's got the nine of diamonds. Jim Carrey, January 17th, he's got the 10 of diamonds. Card 36. So you, he's got the card of tying to the operating system. Like he wants to leave the operating system, he wants to leave. And then uh, um, Colonel Charles Reeves is going down into the simulation. He's plugged in. This is so fascinating how this stuff correlates. So that gets into my last topic now, ladies and gentlemen, to finish up this presentation on, you're on television. We now get into the fourth topic called the Truman Matrix. I'm gonna compare the two, as I have often done. So let's talk about Jim Carrey and Keanu Charles Reeves. And here are, here are their birthdays. And these are in numerology, this would be called their life paths. I think I have, it was supposed to be 1946, but it would be the same outcome. I got 64, but it would be 46. But 31, and then James Eugene Carey is, maybe it is 40, 64, but James Eugene Carey is 27. And look at, lo and behold, look at this. Look at this lineup for, uh, for Neo here. Count Charles Reeves, 31. Matches his life path, his soul contract. And then Jim Carrey matches the word heaven, which is stairway to heaven, which is exactly what he's got going on here. It's just so fascinating with this stuff. And it's all tied to the brain being plugged into the brain. Here are their, um, here are their, their parameters. One being born in Lebanon, one being born in Canada. And I'll let you decoders do all the, if you want to go and check out their t distance between the cities and... There's so many nuggets with this. So many nuggets with this, but let's start off with the actual premiere viewings of each of these movies they were starring in. You want to talk about blowing your mind, showing you how scripted, there's no way the producers are ganging together and say, let's premiere it on this day. And I mean, these two weren't that far away, nine months away. So the Truman Show came out on June 1st, 1998, Matrix, March 24th, 1999. Going to the timestamp, Look at the difference in between the time. 69 days. 69 days. And I think the reason why, I don't know why I have this. That's not, that's a typo, but it's 69 days. Oh, it's the years. So the, it's total, total years of nine months and 23 days. But if you just go from June 1st to March 24th, it's 69 days. So if you do, if you include the 99 and 98, the years, it'll be nine months and 23. 923 has significance as well. But the yin yang, ladies and gentlemen, on the calendar there. And it just, wait, there's more. You want to you want to see more? Okay, the, the, here's, here's the big kicker here. Where I don't know how you'd get this right as a producer. Like, are they all ganging up? Is this just some big conspiracy? The two main stars of the movie, their names equal 124. And these two movies, one, James, uh, the, the Matrix, 
And uh, the Truman Show, Truman Show comes out on June 1st. The Matrix comes out on March 24th. If you bring the two numbers together, one and 24, you get 124. No way that mankind's coding. No, sorry. No way. Yin Yang. One's going in, one's coming out. It's a revolving door. <laughs> That's what you're looking at here. And here's their astrological charts for Jim Carrey. And if you're a fan of astrology, I'm using Vedic sidereal astrology. Um, and I'm, I'm showing you uh, Keanu Charles Reeves and Jim Carrey. Here they are. And the big takeaway is Pluto. This is where my research is leading me to. Because Pluto to me represents your ultimate desire. Your ultimate desire. And of course, as fate would have it, the Pluto is in the same exact house. I'm sorry, the same exact zodiac sign. And it's in the same exact nakshatra. They both have Pluto in the 11th nakshatra. And they have it in the same zodiac sign of Leo the Lion, which Leo is the fifth sign. Five represents your identity. Identity. So, you know, you go and you study the, um, the, the nakshatra that, they, that they're, they have their Pluto in. Perva Falguni. And you come down and you read about this. There's all clues in here. But look at what the key themes are. Again, so imagine you're entering the movie to play the game as a supernatural spirit. Why would you do that? You crave stimulation and sensual excitement. Doesn't that sound like, well, hey, I want to go play that game because I really want to go feel what it feels like to be a human being. That's what I, that's what I see here, folks, with, this, with these two right here. And this is their birth charts. There's so many other moving parts. I'm not going to spend a shitload of time on this, but the Pluto is the big marker in their 11th nakshatra in the same zodiac sign. I mean, it doesn't get any more obvious than that. It really, really doesn't. I mean, even their north node and south node of the moon, they're almost in identical positions. There's just so many ways to look at this. You can have a field day with this at these astrological charts. Pluto being your ultimate desire. One's going in, one's coming out. It's very simple to see here. I mean, he's, he's got it in his 10th house. 10th house is Capricorn. Capricorn represents time. He literally like, I'm out of here. I'm leaving time. And then... Uh, uh, then Keanu Charles Reeves has it in his first house. It's entering. Like, I'll, I'm ready. I'm going to go get plugged in. I'm going to plug my brain in. And even, you know, even the word brain. If you look at brains 11, these guys both have their Pluto in, a, in the 11th nakshatra. He's getting plugged in. Plugged into the back of his brain. And he's got his Pluto there right there in the first house. Right there. I mean, borderline 12 and 1. I mean, it doesn't get any more obvious than that. And he wants to unplug in the 10th house. 10. 10 is the binary number. He's got it in his 10th house. He wants to get out of there. He's got this in his midheaven position. If you go and look, what is he doing right here? He's going up towards his midheaven. It's just so simple to see this when you have all the tools and you know how to look at astrology. 10th house right here. So simple. 10 is binary. He's got his midheaven here. He's got his Pluto here. He's like, I'm out. Stairway to heaven. I'm out of here. Well, Count Charles Reeves, a little bit of a different story. You know, he's actually, it was in his 12th house, but 12 is the hangman. So I stand corrected. It was, it's the 12th house, but I, I, it's the hangman here being, being hung upside down. He's got his Chiron, whatever, the moon right across the way. It's just, and, and, and Saturn of time right across the way. This is just so easy to see, man. These people were born to be in these movie positions. So simple to see, folks. You just gotta, you just gotta know astrology and numerology to add to the flair to all this and their life paths and stuff. It's just so, so blatant in your face. So there it was, ladies and gentlemen. You're on television, decoded. And I would love to hear what you saw during, I could have did more on the astrological part, but I wanted to keep this decode, you know, bearable. Cause I will say, you know, if you make it all the way to the end, put in the comment, you made it all the way to the end. You know, only about 15 to 17% of you make it all the way to the end here. That's the, the statistics there. It's low. So if you make it all the way to the end, you're minority, which is what you want to be. So I appreciate each and every one of you, all you subscribers, all you people that view and the support. Uh, and again, you got to make the truth your own. 
uh, and go do that. But I would love to hear what you saw. Keep your comments coming. Let me know you made it till the end. Let me know how much fun you had with this one. Because you are on TV, folks. You're in a movie. Go be the star of your movie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan for Decode Your Reality. Until next time, we will see you later.